In this lesson, we'll cover the assembly of the FCX2000. But before we start, it is important to cover some precautions. Once built, place the FCX2000 in an area that is dust-free, dry, and is not in direct sunlight. Make sure there's a rated power outlet that is grounded properly for both the cutting plotter and vacuum pump. If possible, leave around two to three feet of space on each side of the cutter. This makes it easier to load and unload material and reposition the machine. Please avoid storing miscellaneous objects on the table as this may cause damage. Regarding maintenance of the machine, do not clean with solvents. The manual recommends a dry cloth or one that has been dampened with a neutral detergent diluted with water. Do not oil the parts. It is absolutely unnecessary and may cause damage. Finally, if something does go wrong, don't try to repair it. Please call your dealer or Graftech's technical support department. There are also a few important precautions to follow when operating the machine. Handle the blades with care. They're small and easy to misplace. While this will be covered in a later lesson, also avoid overextending the blade. To prevent injury, stay away from moving parts. Inevitably, something will get torn or pulled. To assemble the machine, start by carefully removing all of the items in the stand box and lay them out in an organized manner. This will help ensure that everything is accounted for. There should be two side panels, two cross members, 12 M4 hexagon screws, and four Phillips screws. The next step is building the stand. Be aware of the small decals on each of the side panels. These indicate how the table is to be mounted on the stand. Also, as the stand is being assembled, try not to tighten the screws completely yet. This allows the stand to settle correctly once the table is mounted. First, attach one cross member to a side panel, then the other cross member to the same panel. And lastly, attach the remaining piece. This completes the stand portion of the assembly. Remove the flatbed table from its box and place it on top of the stand making sure that the decals on the table align with the decals on the stand. Mount it with the provided screws. Once the screws are installed for the table, tighten all of the screws on the stand. Next, mount the bracket and roller on the side of the table. Next, take the pump and install the pipe assembly as seen here. Attach the vacuum hose to the pump and then to the table. Once the machine is assembled, take the power cord and plug it in securely to the FCX2000 first and then into a rated outlet. Next, take the communication cable, in this case the USB cable, and plug it into the USB port of the FCX2000, and then into your computer. The FCX2000 assembly and setup is now complete. Let's become more familiar with the unit in our next lesson.